we have to download some software for your Mac. So right here, I'm going to provide this link in the description of this video so you guys can go ahead for it. And down here below, you're going to see software. And then on the side, we're going to see all the software. So we're going to see for Mavic, Phantom, and so on. So you can keep scrolling, scrolling down for all the software you might need, including down here below, you're going to see DJI Assistant Series. Just click on Assistant Series. And we're going to see a lot more right down here. So if you can't find the software up there, just keep scrolling down and you're going to find what exactly you need, including other software where we have even more stuff down here below. So it's good to know that there's a lot of software just on the side of this. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to scroll up and then we're going to see this. It should say DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic. So let's just click right there and then we're going to see this. So there's two options. There's Windows and there's Mac. So choose whichever makes sense to you. So what I'm going to do is download the Mac version. So I'm just going to click down here below. I should get a window saying this. I'm just going to allow and the download process will start. It's not a huge download, so it's not going to take too much time. If you guys are doing this on Safari, on the top right hand side, you're going to see this. That means it's downloading. And if I click right here, I will see the download process. So right now it's going pretty slow, but it is only 386 megabytes. So it should be pretty fast for most of you. It should just be about 10 seconds. Uh, if you have slower internet, it could take up to five minutes, but that's about it. Now, once the software has finally downloaded, we can just double click on it. And some of you might get this message. Don't worry about this message. Just click on OK. And if you got a message saying that Safari couldn't open it because there's no program to open it, again, don't worry. Just go back up and we're going to open this in Finder. So on the side, you might see this. So just click on the side and we're going to just look at the package itself. So if you're having problems opening something like this up, don't worry, just going to system preferences. So on the top right hand corner of my screen, I'm going to see this my spotlight search, I'm just going to click right there. And I'm going to look for system preferences. That's my very first option that shows up right here system preferences. Once I open that up, I'm going to look for security and privacy, which is down here below on the right. Once I click there, the very first option under general should give me all of this. And right here, we're going to see this. So it's good to select the second option, by the way. Uh, however, right now it, it's telling me that this assistant is blocked or this app is blocked. We're going to open anyways. So just click on open anyways. From there, you might see this message again. Don't worry about it. Just click on open. And at this point, we should see this. So it should load up just fine. We can just go on to continue on the bottom left hand side corner. Click on continue. Click on continue again. We're going to agree. Remember, as long as you're downloading this from the official website from Mavic, you're fine. So let's just click on install. Remember not to install from any other websites. So no links, nothing. Just go to official website. And that's why I'm providing the link. Anyways, right now I'm going to go install software. And this is the regular normal thing that's supposed to happen. There's a few steps to follow, which is kind of weird. You, this usually just doesn't happen with software. But uh, we do have a terminal right here. We're going to put this on the side. And all we have to do is just follow the instructions. So it tells you exactly here what to do. So right here on the side, we're going to see that it's asking for a password. So you can see that down here below, it's going to say password. So just type in your password for your Mac if you have one. Now, if you don't have a password, it's time to set one up just so this works properly. So we're going to go ahead and type in our password. After we type in our password, we're just going to hit enter. Once you do that, we should see process completed. And that's it. Actually, we just have to restart our Mac right now. And that's exactly what this tells us right here on the site. If you keep scrolling down, it's going to tell you just to restart your Mac after you see process completed. And then we can just make sure that everything was and is properly installed. So later on, we can go back to security and privacy and see that we don't have anything blocked such as this Joshua Wise. So for now, we are done. So we can just click on close. We're going to move to trash. That's fine. We're going to close this up as well. And we're just going to restart our Mac. So to restart your Mac on the top left hand side, we're going to see the Apple logo. And we're just going to go all the way down until we see restart and just hit restart. 
So, once you restart your Mac, you might see something like this. That's okay. Let's just go into System Preferences. So that's right here, Open Security Preferences. And from there, we should see this window popping up. In this window, we're just gonna put down here below on the left-hand side, we're gonna see Click to Unlock. So let's just click to Unlock. It's gonna ask us for our password. Click on Unlock. And finally, we can just allow the software. So right down here, it's gonna say some system software has been blocked, loading just allow it. And we're going to see is this, all this has been blocked. So Joshua Wise, we know that one's for sure. So we're going to go ahead and click on OK. Once we click on OK, we should be OK. So we can close this up. Now in the bottom of your screen, you should see Finder. Let's just open up Finder. And from Finder on the left hand side, we should see Applications. So just go into your Applications. Under Applications, just look for DJI. So it looks something like this. We can also find this under our spotlight search. So we can just type in spotlight search DJI assistant and we should be able to find it. Right now we're just gonna double click on it to open it up. And again, we should see something like this. Just click on allow, allow again. And once that opens up, we should see this. Let's just confirm this for now. We're gonna agree, we're gonna agree again. And at this point, what I'm gonna do is just turn this on and then just hit next. And for most of you, you will have a login already. So what I suggest doing on the top right hand side, you're gonna see login. Just log in right now. And that's what you use to maybe buy your DJI. That's the exact same login you would use right here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're just gonna type in our account and then password. Or at this point, it's good to just sign up if you haven't done so. Once you guys have signed in, just continue on with everything else. So in this case, I'm actually gonna join the improvement program. You don't have to, you can click the second option, do not consider. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose that option. And right now it's gonna take us through the steps. So at this point in time, we should just plug in our Mavic Air 2 into our computer. By the way, if you guys have a hub, it's better not to plug it in directly to your hub. It's better just to plug it in directly to your computer. So right now it's plugged in. We're just gonna turn on our DJI. So just turn it on. I'm gonna allow this for now. And we're gonna see this. It's gonna say connected devices on the top left hand side. And this is a Mavic Air 2. I'm just gonna click on it. At this point, we can download any firmware, for example. Um, there's nothing, we're all good actually, so we can just press on refresh for now. And the whole update process might take 10 minutes, blah, blah, blah. So we could refresh right now. I'm not gonna do that at this point because we're just transferring pictures. Uh, it's good to refresh, but it does a current, so we should be okay. So let's just take a look at what you guys have on the side. You do have log, export, calibration, and simulator. However, that's not what we want. What we want to is import our pictures. However, right here, it's good to know that you guys can do all that from right here. So right now, on your desktop, you should see these two things. So one should be Untitled 1, the other one Untitled 2. And that's because one's internal storage and the other one is your SD card. So at this point, we're just gonna open up this very first one. And this is exactly what we should see. So let's just open up the very first option. So that's the folder. Open this one up again. And we're gonna see all right here, the videos that we have. So to export them, we can just drag them out. So I can select them, just drag them onto my desktop or any folder that I want. Right now for the purpose of this video, I'm just dragging them out. And that's gonna copy those videos out of there onto my desktop. I can also press Command C to copy, Command V in order to paste it anywhere I would like. So right now I have a video that's the same name. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna keep both, keep both. And there we go. So how long will this take? Well, again, it depends on your videos, how long they are. And uh, if you recorded them on 4K, obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer. Other than that, it should be pretty fast actually to import all your videos. So meanwhile, this is happening. I want to show you guys the other one. So here's our other option, Untitled 1. Let's just open that up. And it's going to be the exact same thing. We're gonna open up the first option, first option again, and we're gonna see all our videos. So yes, all these videos would be from my SD card versus the other ones that were from my internal memory. So what I'm gonna do in this case, if you guys don't want to just select them all and import them the way that I did, you can always press Command A to select them all. Or if you guys would like just to import a few of them and not all of them, we can just go ahead and select those. So we can select this one. I can press Command on my keyboard, select that one and select that one just by clicking on them. From there, 
I'm a big fan of dragging out, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to drag these guys out here. Hopefully nothing else has the same name. Yep, nothing else has the same name, so this should be pretty fast. Once I'm done exporting videos into my Mac, which I did, the other one's already finished. So here are the other ones. I can just delete them. It's uh, pretty easy just to delete them. You can always format. That's what I suggest doing. Even if you do delete them from here, just by selecting them and then just pressing Command Delete, you can go into your drone and format both your SD card and your internal memory. So that wipes everything out. So right now I'm just gonna wait until this is done copying and then I'm gonna show you how I deleted the videos from my internal memory and my external. So the external memory, what I mean is your SD card, which I'm transferring right now. And the videos I just deleted, those were from my internal memory of my drone. Again, once I'm done this, I can just delete them. So I know they're done right now. I'm just gonna check them out. So here they are, the videos, they're ready to go. That means I can just delete the ones that I don't want anymore. Now there's a few old ones here, so I'm just gonna select everything. And this time I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna move to trash just to show you the long way of doing this. Now before you unplug anything on your Mac, you do need to empty out your trash. That's how you make sure that everything got erased properly. So empty trash. Once you guys have emptied out your trash, you should be good to go. So right now I transfer those pictures, I got rid of them. I can just close this up, close that up. And this assistant right here, I don't really need it anymore because I'm not doing anything from the simulator or calibration or I'm not gonna log any exports. So at this point in time, I'm just gonna quit this now. And here are all the videos that I just imported from my Mavic Air 2 onto my Mac. Of course, to make sure that everything went okay, I can just right click on one of them. And from there, I can just go into Get Info. Under Get Info, I can see the dimensions. So this was a 4K video, and it's 4K, so perfect. Something else I can test out is just the video itself. So right now, I'm doing a lot of things on my Mac, so it might be a little laggy. I'm gonna play it out anyways, just to see that it's all okay. Let me just go forward on it. Yeah, and it seems that it's okay. Anyways, that's how to import anything from your internal memory and your external memory, which is your SD card, onto your Mac without having to actually take out the SD card from your Mavic. If this is not working for you guys, having problems, maybe your Mac OS is not compatible for some reason, I would just go ahead, take out the SD card, put it in my Mac, and that's usually what I do anyways, because this does require that your drone has some battery into it. Maybe your battery run out, so just take out the SD card, plug it into your Mac, and just import it that way. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.